Hey everyone, this is Blank. Today I want to show you a trick that I put together in Photoshop that'll give us the look of this image that you see here. An image that was taken during the magic hours um, in photography where the sun is really low. You'll see that the sunlight kind of gives it a really warm feeling, a really airy feeling. I really like the style of photography, but I'm not always in the right place at the right time to get it. So I'm going to show you how we can take an image like this one you see, which is really cool because of my camera settings and the time of day that it was taken, and turn it into something similar to th this image. We're going to do that in Photoshop. First, I will have taken this image into Camera Raw and made some basic edits, and I would have adjusted the temperature to get rid of that blue uh, so it looks more like this. And again, that was just in Camera Raw. But then I'm going to want to take that image, this newly edited image, into Photoshop. Here, it's a really simple process. First, we're going to want to duplicate the background layer. Command J will do that. Next, we're going to blur this layer that we just created by applying a filter, a blur filter, and I use Gaussian Blur. And we're going to want to blur it as far as it can be blurred. In this case, it's 250 pixels. We're going to say OK. Next, using our Move tool, we are going to want to actually expand this layer beyond that of the canvas to give it kind of a glowy look. By holding Shift and Option and clicking and dragging a corner, it'll um, expand proportionally beyond beyond canvas. It doesn't matter how far, just, just a little ways to get kind of a glow. Go ahead and apply this, this transformation. Next, we're going to want to change the blending mode of layer 1 from normal to screen. You'll see this shows lets the background show through, and it shows kind of the hazy look that would be created by sunlight um, if the sunlight was really low in relation to the lens of the camera. Right now it's the wrong color, of course, it's whitish, it just looks hazy. To fix that, we're going to actually get an adjustment layer, and we're going to apply a curves layer. From here, we want to adjust just the certain channels, not the entire channel by itself, which is the default. Um, let's go to the red channel and bring it to the left, or boost it up to kind of warm that, that image with reds. Um, you'll see right now it's a little purplish, that's because the blues are um, still there. We want to actually drop down the blues to get rid of that to give it more of a yellowish feel. We'll apply it that way. You'll see that that kind of gives us the, the feeling of sunlight. Um, I don't ever adjust the green. If you want to get some funky colors, um, you can do that. My preference is to, to leave the green where it is. Other options that you could do to get the same effect as applying a warming filter or, or a number of other ways to, to kind of achieve this yellowish effect. Now, it's a little too hazy for my taste, so let's uh, take layer one again and drop, drop it down to about 60% opacity. That gives it a little less dramatic, hazy look. Um, and if that's not enough for you, you might even want to consider sharpening the background layer or duplicating the background layer again and sharpening that layer um, by applying a filter, a sharpen filter, perhaps unsharp mask, kind of makes it a little more clear. And then, of course, you can mask out any parts that you don't want necessarily sharpened by applying a mask and then painting uh, black paint over over the parts you don't necessarily want sharpened, um, any, probably anything that's not the subject's face. But there you have it. We took an image that started out really cool and cold looking and made it really warm as if it was taken during the magic hours of the day. Um, it gave me the look I was looking for. It was simple as that. But explore it, check it out, and let me know how, how it turns out for you. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.